An elevator to space sounds like something out of a cartoon, but the concept is much closer to reality than most may realize. Imagine being able to afford to send one kilogram of stuff into space for just $200. This is the fantastic promise of a space elevator, a revolution in exploration, transport, and colonization. Currently, there is only one main method of transporting material or people into space, rockets. The cheapest rocket to transport anything into space right now is SpaceX's Falcon 9. Currently, rockets cost on the order of thousands to tens of thousands of dollars to fly up a single kilogram of material. This means that for most people, going into space or taking anything up is currently out of reach from a financial perspective. But what if there was an alternative? The space elevator is essentially a gigantic cable that is attached to the ground and extends out to geostationary orbit some 35,786 kilometers above the Earth. On top of the cable is a counterweight which helps to keep the elevator in orbit. While this counterweight could be anything, it would need to be heavy, so something like an asteroid or a space station could be a possibility. The elevators in this case would be called climbers that could scale the cable into space and release cargo or people depending on the mission. The idea of the space elevator was first fought up all the way back in 1895 in Russia. A rocket scientist by the name of Konstantin Tsiolkovsky came up with the idea of building a structure that could rise to geostationary orbit. The issue with this method of building the elevator however would be the enormous weight causing it to collapse in on itself. The idea was then expanded in 1959 by another Russian, Yuri Artsutanov, who suggested to construct the tower from space to the ground and have the elevator be kept up by tension instead. By having a counterweight that could tense up the structure, the idea of compression could be solved. It was then in 1990 that materials began to catch up, when carbon nanotubes were suggested as a possible building material for one. In the 21st century, numerous competitions have sprung up to work on many elements of the elevator, such as the cable and the power system for it. So far up to today, no company or government has created a successful prototype or even successfully generated any of the materials needed for one. The closest we have gotten came from a Japanese project in space, where two connected satellites tested how a climber could travel across a 10 meter cable. Despite numerous failed startups, small prototypes and competitions, there is still a mountain of work to be done to make a feasible design for one. So, despite all of this background activity, an important question to ask is, can we build one on Earth? There is currently no material strong enough to support a cable all the way to geostationary orbit. Carbon nanotubes could theoretically support a cable a few thousand kilometers long, but at tens of thousands of kilometers, it becomes less likely to hold. The issues don't stop at materials, however. Powering a climber for 35,000 kilometers is also a challenge, as ground power becomes tricky to move this far along the cable. Various solutions have been raised, such as space-based solar power and lasers, but no proven solutions can be known at this stage, with so many unsolved variables. Other challenges include counterweight design, where exactly on Earth a space elevator could be built, protection of the cable, and much, much more. While a space elevator on Earth may or may not be a possibility, it is much more likely one could be constructed on other planets or moons. The reason for this is because other places in the solar system have much lower gravities than Earth, and much of the difficulty in terms of material strength and cable length could be greatly reduced on other worlds. A Martian space elevator, for example, could be built using materials already present on Earth with no major breakthroughs needed. So it is quite possible space elevators will exist in the future but if anywhere, it will be off-world. The possibility of building a space elevator in the future is fascinating for many reasons. The nighttime view of a colossal elevator, the revolution it would bring to space exploration, and the construction of one are just a few of the many reasons why the concept is so compelling. If we manage to build a space elevator, it will go down as one of humanity's greatest technological achievements. What do you think of the space elevator? Leave a comment below of your thoughts, and as always, thanks for watching.